Hello everybody and welcome to Wildman's Gaming and Rage Quit channel. What's this again? We're playing the Operational Art of War Part 4 again. Aracourt, 1944 again. I, I have no objection to playing Operational Art of War 4. I mean, it's a great game. I love that game. But why are we playing Aracourt 1944 again? We've revisited it already. Uh, this time I'm playing Germany and uh, I'm going back to a comment that I saw before. I can't find it again. But somebody gave a comment uh, about the Germans being able to would that the Germans would have been able to uh, take Aracourt uh, had it not been for something or other. I don't know what it was. So I decided that I would try to play this from the German side and see how easy it would have been for the Germans to win at Aracourt okay. uh, back in 1944. I don't know. But uh, what has been, from what I have been, t uh, I've been in discussion with some friends who are actually uh, steeped and well read in uh, history, military history, it would appear that uh, Aracourt uh, was actually a, uh, uh, it, it might be considered a mismatch in the sense that uh, the United States forces there, and uh, I, I, I actually didn't know at the time, I mean when I, when I was playing the game, it didn't feel like it that the uh, United States forces were uh, battle-hardened or they were veterans or uh, they were very well-skilled commanders and soldiers and that the Germans, in contrast, were um, um, uh, exhausted or poorly organized or just newly organized uh, and uh, have uh, had reduced strengths. Some of them might have been uh, units, formations and divisions uh, more in name than in strength or something like that uh, so it's been said but I don't know if that's true but when I play the game as the United States I feel like I won but I only feel that I won because uh, well, um, I wouldn't exactly call it an exploit uh, let's just say that uh, I, I um, simply attack their supply lines and uh, after attacking their supply lines and they slowly weakened then I was able to hold them off that's what I did as the United States so I said what would happen if I played as the Germans I tried playing the German side here and I'm wondering why why I'm having such a difficult time it, it didn't feel like the computer was having um, this hard a time uh, playing you know uh, when, it, when, when I was playing as the US but uh, if I felt during that second Aracourt game that uh, the German computer was aggressive I was uh, eye-poppingly surprised when I saw um, how uh, the uh, computer played the United States in this game it basically pushed me back and it was aggressive and I couldn't believe it um, it, it basically just slapped me and then pushed me back and uh, I, I didn't know um, uh, I didn't know what else to do uh, and so th in this game when I played this this is just the first turn but uh, I, I tried again um, to use a similar tactic that I used when I was uh, playing the United States which was again to get behind the enemy and uh, capture the supply lines uh, supply source sources supply sources and in order to cut off the United States but what happened was that the United States forces the US Army here was um, also aggressive and uh, as I tried to encircle it my encircling unit was also encircled and it was also uh, isolated and therefore out of supply so it was very interesting I was trying to uh, take the uh, American units out of supply, get them out of supply, but the uh, American units were also trying to encircle me. Uh, at least my forward units were trying to, they, they had encircled them and then uh, they were effectively cut off. Okay. Uh, the, the other thing that uh, shocked me here was that there's a, I don't know if it's determined by initiative or if it's just simply randomly determined. Um, but the the I go you go aspect of this game, uh, I think, seems to be uh, 
randomly determined. For a given turn, who's gonna who's going to move first? Yeah, U.S. or Germany? Uh, the U.S. player or the German player? Computer or human player? It seems to be randomly determined. So it was there. It was actually possible um, for me to for the U.S. player to to move uh, back to back, move twice. I don't even or I, if I felt like I skipped a turn. I'll have to take a look at that. It's entirely possible, now that I think about it, that I had so exhausted all my units that I had no units with any turns left that the computer just immediately took over. Now you can see here, from how I'm being driven back, this is the computer player um, after, after moving, uh, moving again. And because it has two turns in a row, and because my southern units were, shall we say, um, disorganized, it just, it just shattered them. You know, they were just shattered, and they just, they just kept going back, kept going back, being in circle. And uh, this is just the first step. Just this is just the first turn, everybody. Um, uh, so it's a lot of laughs. It's a lot of fun. Okay, and in the north. Uh, while I was trying to encircle the United States uh, units, um, they were also pushing back and I was getting disorganized. It literally broke my attack. So, and uh, But I decided to talk about it uh, during this part of the uh, video because I also wanted to see... Um, I, I wanted to talk about it and I wanted to see um, if I could do it again, but also talk about uh, the different aspects of the game where I had difficulty. Uh, so actually I was going to say that uh, who would have thought I would have said uh, who knew or I didn't know that the Germans would have had a tough time against the computer AI. Um, I didn't. I had no idea. Uh, later when I was talking to some to, uh, to some of my friends like I said who, who um, I had something to say about this battle who had read about this battle um, the US commanders uh, were indeed um, very uh, capable and that the uh, German units here were uh, 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 like I said they, they, they had already experienced some um, defeats and losses um, in in their in their um, personnel probably in their equipment too and um, new ones were were uh, created some new units were created also to help them but they were not necessarily fresh. They, I think, they were created. The, the new additional units were created out of out of what could be spared, which uh, I guess would have made for a weak force. Nevertheless, this was supposed to be um, also one of the biggest uh, battles involving tanks in the uh, Western Front, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, gee, I should have read uh, some more uh, before before uh, fighting this game. Um, so a lot. Uh, I, I guess I should take a look at that. But but you can see here what I'm doing already here on the left. Uh, over here in the south, yeah, I'm getting badly beaten. But what I'm doing is on the left side. You could see my. Um, uh, I think it's mechanized infantry. Uh, the one with the, the strength 22 and the defense 24, pretty strong. But it's way behind enemy lines, and it's going to capture all of those. All of those uh, supply uh, sources. There's two of them. Uh, and the interesting thing that I wanted to find out is what would happen. Would the United States forces stop in their tracks simply for want of fuel? When I searched, uh, I've been searching um, the system uh, for 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 this game, and uh, I think it's by Norm uh, Koger. Uh, and uh, when I was uh, looking it up, I think I might have read somewhere that uh, the supply doesn't, it's not, it's not like a toggle, like if you're out of supply suddenly you, your, your unit becomes totally incapable. Um, I think what, uh, what is being simulated here is that when a unit is out of supply, it, be, it, it starts to conserve. Uh, resources so it doesn't automatically halt it could still move uh, maybe it might be slower um, it might not be effective as effective in in combat um, probably or it, but basically they're making every 
every every bullet count, every drop of fuel count. You know. So it doesn't automatically uh, shut down just because it's out of supply. What it means is that um, it starts to conserve its resources. Okay. Uh, and uh, that's why, um, even though I uh, have captured uh, both supply sources here on the left, you'll notice two things. Um, the mechanized infantry on the left, earlier it was 20, strength 22, defense 24, now it's about two, uh, it's less than 20. Um, strength is now less than 20, defense is now less than 20, it's significant, it's now 14, 16, look at that. Uh, I would say it's still stronger than most, but significantly significantly weaker and I would attribute that to the fact that it's probably isolated uh, from its own sources of supply you can see the German supply uh, very close to that um, um, infantry unit of the United States over here the one with the five strength and the eight defense uh, down there uh, and um, uh, actually it, it, would, it would probably be the easiest thing for the computer to simply move two hexes and capture that uh, there is another supply source to the uh, to the right of the on the right map edge. Um, I suppose you could call it. I, I don't have a compass here, and I, I don't know if that's really the eastern map uh, edge. But yeah, it's on the right map edge. There's another German supply source there, so it's entirely possible to still get supply from that area. However, here in this case, my uh, my. Uh, Mechanized infantry behind enemy lines uh, is, I believe, out of supply. We'll find out from that. Let me see. <clears throat> we'll know more about its supply state and readiness level um, from its uh, from the color, I believe, of the upper right square um, on the corner. So you'll notice here that this uh, unit that I'm trying to move, which has. Uh, 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 which is a reconnaissance unit um, has an orange um, squ colored square on the upper right corner HQ there uh, kind of uh, uh, I think a pale green I think um, that that gives you uh, an, in an idea of their level of readiness and their supply level um, what about the, the enemy forces I don't think I can I can see it um, because of the fog of war um, I think so you, you, I don't really get a good idea of their supply level okay. so I've moved my you'll notice that while moving because of some disorganization in moving some of my strength and my uh, defense evaporates um, or diminishes until I can re, uh, reorganize when I take a rest so you'll notice that my mechanized infantry which has um, uh, which has surrounded or which has captured the supply sources is now down to 13 strength, 15 defense, but it is at, it is at the doorstep of Aracord. It, uh, it's, it, it's right there next to an empty hex, and if we can capture that, that's 25 points. However, our problem is, uh, for the sake of getting this um, location and this victory point area, We've practically given up um, uh, the the uh, victory point that uh, is it that victory point that's worth uh, 25 points after Bourdieu Maizieres. Uh, I'm probably saying it wrong. Yeah. Uh, so um, at what cost? Uh, I don't think it was uh, it was at the it was I don't think it was worth it because uh, in 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 this game. Um, it looks like um, uh, it looks. It started to look doubtful that uh, I was going to win, um, or, or rather, I was still hoping against hope that I would win. My my primary hope there was that the lack of supply of the U.S. units would severely cripple them, and I would just walk around and kick them over. It that's not exactly how it happened. That's not exactly how it happened. Uh, but uh, let's see, why don't we uh, move this forward a little bit more and uh, let's see uh, what, uh, how far this goes. So over here, uh, you'll notice that, hey, um, I'm still in some kind of supply and I have a choice now. We, now that my, given my replenishment, it's I'm now back to strength 20 and defense 22. What am I going to do? Am I going to attack that uh, self-propelled a gun there or should I go ahead and take Aracord and then just hunger down 
had something that I was thinking about. In the meantime, the rest of the units, um, I will send them. I think I'm gonna try to send them back and see if I can capture some of the victory points uh, closer to the back there. Yeah, in my Z areas. Okay, but uh, the other thing that uh, I'm considering is that if I take Arako, um, could I hold on to it? Um, that's that's something else that uh, I I have to think about. Okay, and uh, meanwhile over here, uh, down uh, south uh, at Lagarde, uh, I I think that um, I I'm I'm hanging by a thread, um, and um, I'm also here with by the by uh, I think I'm on a river terrain as well. So, and I think that will also put me at a disadvantage. The other things that uh, I've got going against me is that the the U.S. forces um, are actually uh, benefiting from uh, coverage of their artillery and uh, air, uh, their air power. So um, I don't have uh, much air coverage. I, uh, they have air superiority, so and I think it shows. And that's why the Germans uh, are having so much difficulty. Uh, very interesting here that there's an HQ unit here, but I think what I'll really try to do is firm up my hold in Alcord because I think I feel that that's the most important thing. Um, it is, I suppose, uh, point based and it's a game. In real life, I don't know if this is what uh, an actual commander would do um, uh, apart from from the game. I mean, you're you're a commander, you're forward, you reach your objective, but you're surrounded. How do you feel about that? Uh, so, uh, but uh, this is a game, and uh, we will see how how it gets implemented. Now, another thing about this game, uh, about this scenario, it's actually very. It's one of the shortest, and it's supposed to be one of the simplest. Uh, it's only got about eight turns. But in this uh, game, and the way this game works, is that when you reach the end of scenario, uh, it's actually possible that the scenario would be configured not to automatically end uh, at, at that particular turn. Uh, at that particular turn, uh, rather it might randomly end a bit later. So there's there's that aspect as well. So uh, here we're only at turn five, and uh, three more turns to go. And I really don't know how long the Germans will be able to hold up. All we know is so far we've got 25 points, 15 points, and another 15 points, 30, 40, 55 points versus 25, 30, 40, 50, 50 points. That's that's not very much. Um, it's I, I don't I w I'm not even sure if uh, the game would consider this a a, a draw just because we have equal because just because we have equal um, uh, victory points um, I believe that when I was uh, looking at the scenario or the updates when you look at the updates at the end of each turn you'll see at the bottom the uh, projected uh, victory points being totaled I think there's a certain kind of bonus being given and being computed with respect to the 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 number of unit the number of units that have been killed so I think that uh, if more German units are dying then that gives a little plus factor to the victory level of the uh, of the American unit but we'll see um, uh, I wanted to see how far I could push my luck um, by taking over uh, all of those uh, victory points and uh, my objective there was to take and hold these are cities, and maybe I could um, dig in, which is one of the modes that I could do. Uh, and then um, uh, hopefully uh, they'll just uh, take too much time trying to trying to um, uh, kick me out. That by the end of turn eight, the game would end, and I would have ideally, let me see, 50, 60, 70, 80, 80 victory points, 80 points. Hey, how about that? Huh? Uh, how about that? I actually thought that I'd, I'd have a chance at winning doing that. So let's see um, how far uh, we could take it. Let's go. And one of the things that I noticed here is that uh, when 
Oh, okay. I also wanted to know um, what was the supply status. I still don't know how to read a supply status though um, from from that particular perspective uh, because uh, uh, later on I also found out that uh, there was a, they, they were starting to get supply. The United States was trying to get supply as well. Uh, so you, you could see here that even though I had an armored uh, unit in Mongku uh, and I took Mongku, they, the, the engineers just kicked me out, you know, um, the engineers just kicked me out and I believe that would have been the... So um, I didn't get a chance to uh, take a look, close look at uh, the actual composition of these units that are already being battered and in red. So it would have been interesting. How did I think about it? Uh, but look at that. Look at the uh, mechanized um, infantry being pushed back right out of Arcord. See? Um, so it's really bad because even I, I think it is because also of the aside from the fact that it's surrounded, it's flanked, uh, but also the units are combined. You uh, the the American forces when they when they retook when they took Arcord again from me. Um, uh, they, they, I noticed that they, I think they had um, a reconnaissance unit as well, and I believe that has an impact on the initiative during the actual combat role, or if you could call it the combat role, the combat simulation being done by the game, because I believe um, that uh, the reconnaissance unit uh, gives an ability for that particular side to fire first and inflict damage first, so that's something. Okay. In the meantime, so we've still got only, um, we're back to, let me see, 25, 30, 40, 50, hey, 65 points. Okay, we might, okay, it might be something like that, but uh, it's, it's um, still too early. You can't, you can't really, um, you can't really say that uh, we're going to win, but we're hopeful. It's turn 7, we just need one more turn. You know, one more turn. Dig in, everybody. You can, you can dig in at Lézé. You can uh, dig in at uh, Maizier. You can uh, dig it at Moncourt and in Musse. I should have destroyed the bridges at Musse, but at least they're not attacking me. Okay. Uh, but uh, um, but I don't know if uh, I could also uh, capture Bure and uh, hold on to it. Uh, but uh, you'll notice that in Lagarde, I'm already fortified. So the... Uh, tank units there are um, pretty, pretty strong. Uh, uh, so that uh, hopefully they they will try as they might, they will not be able to kick us out. Uh, but it's turn seven, and here they come. They're probably gonna kick us out. Oh, I am actually tempted to go back and retake out of court if they've left it alone. Meanwhile, in Moncourt, dude, they slap me back. Um, interestingly, I wonder if these are limited attacks. They're not moving into Mongkut. I don't know why. Is it because... Yeah, they can't... I don't think they'll be engaged in Lagar, but uh, they will actually assign that. Or maybe they hope to retake it uh, later. I don't know. But bottom line is uh, they are <laughs> they're kicking... They are kicking our German butts all the way right out of uh, this area, all the way back to... Uh, the motherland, uh, the fatherland, or uh, where did we came from? Uh, let me see. Okay. So turn eight, the last turn. How are we doing? Um, I can't move. I wish I could move. I don't know why I got this organized there. It, uh, but um, uh, it's not like I, w I I suffered an attack. It might be a supply issue because if you notice, um, the uh, the U.S. unit here does not it it covers the supply route from the supply source along this southern area another thing that I noticed is if you look at this there's a supply source again uh, coming from uh, west of Aracor so that's a big advantage for the United States because then that means that they are all back full supply they'll be replenishing their strength and they're going to be kicking us out of um, our victory point areas, See, they're just be, they're just running after us. Uh, we're, I can, I can just imagine uh, my soldiers. What a disservice I've done to them. 
um, I could just uh, imagine my soldiers running down the road uh, with um, uh, with the American soldiers uh, running right after them in their tanks, for instance. They evaporated. Look at that, hundred percent losses. Okay, okay. So end of scenario. 1944. U.S. player has achieved a significant victory, and uh, well, uh, what can I say? Uh, we we uh, we lost that time. I I'm gonna try to play this again and see if there's a way to win this game. Um, if we lost because of the, shall we say, the superiority of the U.S. units, I wouldn't call it unfair. I mean, if, if that's what the historical setup was, then that's what the, then that's the historical setup. But then, if if that's if that's what happened, we'll we'll try it again next time. In the meantime, I hope that uh, you enjoyed watching this little video, and please like and subscribe, and uh, follow us again, and tap on the bell icon. And by the way, we have a Patreon page. So do go ahead, uh, if you'd like us to make more videos, please support this channel, uh, go ahead to uh, Patreon. And uh, thank you very much everyone, we hope to see you again next time.